Hey everyone, good afternoon. Thank you for coming to today's webinar. My name is Dave Munyon. I'm here with the National Weather Service in San Diego, one of the forecasters here. And uh, today on uh, our webinar briefing, we will talk about an upcoming storm system expected to arrive in our area later this week. We're, we'll call it a, a, an atmospheric river, probably a more weaker one than not. But uh, later this week, widespread precipitation is expected. We have a lot of uncertainty still. We're still about four or five days out from this event here. So naturally there's gonna be a lot of uncertainty and we'll talk about that as we go forward. So again, thank you everyone for coming and attending today and we'll get right into it. So uh, in a general overview for the uh, event as we go through the week. It's actually a pretty warm day today. We even have some weak offshore Santa Ana winds occurring this afternoon in some of the inland locations. On flow or onshore flow will quickly return tomorrow on Tuesday and we're going to see a significant pattern change as we go throughout the week with dramatic cooling trend, maybe 30 degrees cooler on Friday than what we're seeing today. But that atmospheric river, all of that rainfall, we're expecting it's gonna push into Southern California late on Thursday, clearing out by midday Thursday, a bulk of that heavy rainfall potential from the atmospheric river clearing out by midday Friday. Now, rain could be heavy at times with that slew of moisture pushing through. In general though, the, the main slug of rain is only gonna be in our area for about 12 to 24 hours before pushing out though there could be some post-frontal rain showers possible lingering into Friday afternoon through early Saturday. Our current rainfall estimates at this point, again, still a lot of uncertainty. Generally, three quarters to an inch of rainfall expected across the coastal and valley areas, those lower elevation spots. The coastal slopes and mountains typically are, are winners as far as getting the most amount of rainfall, one to two inches and then even some rainfall possible in the deserts, not a whole lot, less than a quarter of an inch. Snow levels will be falling as we get from Thursday into Friday, but maybe falling to around 6,500 feet. There's still some uncertainty on snow levels there as well. And then one last highlight here, onshore wind gusts will pick up Thursday night and then become even stronger once a cold front passes through with this system. Strongest winds will be found in the mountain passes and deserts. And we'll talk about how strong those winds are going to get and, and where in just a minute here. So uh, just to recap our temperatures this afternoon, again, feeling the warmth and the effect of that weak Santa Ana winds in the inland areas, 90s, low 90s expected across a lot of those inland valleys, even low to mid 80s closer to the coast. And here's that dramatic cool down come Friday completely different picture here. Again, 30, as much as 30 degrees cooler in some spots, high temperatures hardly breaking 60s for parts of the Inland Empire, Inland San Diego Valley is even cooler as you got, get up into the mountains. Now, I talked about wind gusts. We're gonna see those pick up as we get Thursday into Friday, probably tapering off Friday afternoon. Strongest wind gusts will be focused in the mountains and the deserts, widespread in the deserts, probably 35 to 45 miles an hour. Some of those more vulnerable wind passes could see wind gusts 50, maybe even 60, 65 miles an hour at times in those really strong corridors like the San Bernio Pass and other vulnerable wind passes. West of the mountains, widespread, probably 20, 25 mile an hour gusts onshore here uh, with the storm system Thursday into Friday. Now, let's talk about the rainfall. That's probably why a lot of folks are here today and uh, the uncertainty that we have, right? We're still several days out and that's naturally gonna bring up a lot of uncertainty. And this graph here on screen now is gonna hopefully illustrate that a little bit. That dark green line here, is uh, showing the, the general forecast, the actual forecast. And this is only for six hourly rainfall. So this isn't a total rainfall graph. That's kind of why it goes up and down. Um, and then that shaded, that lighter green area, ranging from pretty small amounts to fairly high amounts, that's the reasonable, still reasonable range of outcomes 
this far out. So while this green line is kind of the current thinking of the expected, you can almost expect six hourly rainfall rates to range anywhere from that lower end of the green shading to that upper end. So why is this graph even helpful? What it does tell us here is that we're pretty confident that a bulk of the rainfall, the heavier rainfall is gonna fall sometime Thursday evening into the early overnight hours of Friday morning. Some rainfall rates over that course of six hours, at least at this point, which is uh, representative of an area on the coastal slopes like Lake Arrowhead, um, six hourly rainfall rates could you know, exceed three quarters, almost close to an inch if that higher end comes to fruition. Now, I don't wanna to get too caught up in the rainfall rates and totals here. Again, a lot of uncertainty. And then the only other thing I'll note here is some of these more heightened rainfall rates do stretch into Friday afternoon. So some of this is owing to some of that temporal uncertainty, you know, whether or not that rain is gonna stretch, that heavy period of rain is gonna stretch maybe into the more mid overnight hours. And then also the chance for that late wraparound rain shower activity come Friday afternoon. So let's talk about rainfall totals. Here on the map is a heat map of the, the chance of rainfall getting over half an inch. A lot of the areas uh, into the mid yellows is pushing 70 plus percent chance. So those are pretty good odds of a lot of these areas exceeding half an inch of rainfall. Now this is the total rain throughout the event come midday Thursday all the way through late Friday. Uh, pretty good chances again, Best chances are always going to be on the coastal slopes on that on the coastal slopes of the mountains. They're probably going to be a little bit underdone on these maps, just with some of our models not getting some of the mountains quite right. But the general picture here is pretty good confidence that a lot of areas could see at least half an inch of rain. Now let's up the ante here, an inch of rain. A little bit less of a chance as you go higher with rainfall amounts, but the picture is the same that we're going to be favoring those coastal slopes. Uh, across San Bernardino County, down through Riverside County and San Diego County, even the Santa Ana Mountains favored a little bit as well. Again, these uh, percentages are a little bit lower than a half an inch, but still looking at anywhere from 50% all the way up to 70 plus percent chance of getting an inch of rainfall. Once again, the coastal slopes being a little bit underdone, probably a better chance for getting over an inch there than this map shows, but a lot more uh, widespread inch possible across the coasts and the valleys. So as far as rainfall rates goes, uh, you know, for the risk for flash flooding or, you know, some of the debris flow concerns, a little too early to, to really talk in too much detail about the rain rates, lots of uncertainty going into, uh, you know, a waviness to, to talk about rainfall rates. From what we can say right now, probably the highest rainfall rates that we could expect, upwards of three quarters of an inch in an hour in some of those heavier pockets. That's gonna be pretty dependent on embedded thunderstorms that are possible. There's about a 15 to 20% chance that thunderstorms could accompany that rain as it moves through. That Those chances are gonna be greatest on Thursday night into Friday with that cold front that's gonna be coming through. Again, a lot of uncertainty. And a lot of this is going to get refined over the next couple of days as we get a little bit closer. So let's look at uh, some actual forecast charts and stop talking about uncertainty. Preliminarily, you know, again, this is going to change as we get closer, but our current thinking right now, widespread half an inch to three quarters of an inch, maybe upwards of an inch in the, the coastal and valleys areas, whereas the mountains are likely going to see over an inch of rain probably an inch to two inches where that yellow and orange colors meet, especially in the San Bernardino mountain and uh, adjacent coastal slopes. Snow levels, we're now in the month of November here, so we have to start thinking about snow levels as well. The levels will be falling from about 10,000 feet come early Thursday, all the way down to 6,000 to 6,500 feet by Friday morning. So some locations, some elevations higher up could see some flakes mix in as things are starting to, to wind down Friday. Again, lots of, of uncertainty still. Those levels falling by Friday morning could fall anywhere to maybe 4,500 feet all the way up to 7,500 feet. We'll have to see exactly how, fall, how far those uh, snow levels will fall come Friday morning. 
current thinking now for snowfall, not really a whole lot of accumulations for a lot of the inhabited areas or for many of the major roadways. Maybe a, a trace to an inch of snow for Wrightwood or Big Bear. Really, we're only going to be seeing uh, good snowfall on some of the highest peaks. San Gorgonio Peak stands out there. Um, and then San Jacinto Peak in the Riverside County Mountains. So again, we'll see how this changes over the next couple of days as we get closer, but this is the current thinking. And then looking ahead, things will probably clear out late Friday, even after those uh, wraparound showers that are still possible Friday afternoon. But looking into early next week, we'll probably see those below normal temperatures persist. There is another shot of rain possible early next week. Um, there are no major Santa Ana wind events on the horizon, so we're looking good on that front and getting some hopefully beneficial, not too much all at once type rainfall will help push fire concerns down the road as well. So with that, that is uh, the end of the briefing here. I will uh, stop the recording. Can you bear with me?